It's an annual tradition, shopping for supplies as students head back to the classroom. A ritual that has parents feeling the financial stress, especially during tough economic times. Oh, it's pricey for sure. Luckily we have the uniforms, but you pay still for 500 each. And then, then you got the school supplies and the shoes and everything else to go, so it's quite a bit for each kid. Many schools provide a list of essentials to families to avoid unnecessary purchases and the confusion between what their children will need in the classroom versus those potentially pricey wants. Oh, they always try that. I need a phone, I need a tablet, I need iPad and all that. But we have the list from their website, so that's what we got. Now we're going to catch everything what we need there. Like so many parents, Ramesh Sharma is shopping for deals. And retailers say there are many bargains for a limited time, of course. Mid-September, you can see it you can see it coming back more at the regular prices. For such big box stores specializing in school supplies and electronics, this is by far the busiest time of the year. We start working on back to school in January and we start hiring in March to make sure our associate employees are ready and they know our products and they can help customers. And we start connecting with school. Uh, connecting with school to let them know and to, to gather information because there are some new items that are required that we might not have it so we connect to our vendor and make sure we have what it's required for kids. The reality is shelling out hundreds of dollars per kid for school supplies is just not in the budget for some families. Over the last decade, the Staples for Students School Supply Drive has helped to raise nearly $10 million. The funds are used to purchase backpacks and supplies for children in need. We're providing around 2,300 backpack every year to those uh, children, just in Calgary. So any other area, uh, they will do their own uh, uh, supply. For Go in Calgary, I'm Sheba Jahansha.